hey guys so till now we have looked at what is refraction and we have seen light uh, refracting whenever it goes from one medium to another medium uh, air glass water how whatever it may be so today what we will do we are going to uh, do a small activity to see refraction in person so we are going to be looking at uh, how exactly refraction is happening we'll be able to see the light that is bending and all that okay so let's begin with this activity so uh, for this activity i'm going to need a medium of change right for this one i will be using glass right glass is a transparent medium light will pass through it i'll be using a semicircular glass slab okay along with this i'll need some drawing equipment like a protractor a pencil scale anything now if you see i have taken this white paper and i have drawn out this uh, small setup over here you uh, protractor and along with it all of these angles like drawing the coordinate axis and wherever they meet we made arcs for marking all 10 degree angles starting from zero and we went till 90 degrees on two sides we only need to draw two sides because uh, once we see the activity we'll understand why so along with this uh, glass slab that i'm going to place exactly at this center so the middle of the slab should be meeting the point where these lines are meeting and to uh, show light i will be using this small laser light it's the usual light that we have seen now i will be shining this light through this glass slab okay at exactly that center point now if you see the light is going to pass through straight right now the light is going through the normal at that point Generally when it goes through normal, it will go without any deviation. But now if I change it to 10 degrees angle, you will see that light is entering the glass at 10 degrees but going out a little after 10. Okay, I will increase the angle to 20 degrees for example. And now you will see that the light is coming out but the angle of it is more than 20. Right, if you see the angle, emergent angle is increasing the angle at which it comes out now again at 40 degrees it has increased and i'll be going a little more forward all the way from 30 to 40 now the angle of refraction is much higher it's somewhere around 80s at a certain point, you are going to notice that my light has stopped coming out of that side completely. Okay, It is not anymore going through, instead it is bouncing inside the glass and going out of the other side. Right On the other side you see no light. Now this phenomena is something that we call as total internal reflection okay so whenever light moves through uh, another medium at a certain angle it will reflect inside this glass generally light does not reflect inside a glass it will only reflect on mirrors right So now if I try to carefully see at which angle this reflection is happening, I will notice that somewhere around 40 my angle was, uh, light was reflecting. This is called as my critical angle. Okay. So the minimum angle that the light has to make so that total internal reflection happens is called as critical angle. So uh, this is uh, two things that we have uh, learned today. 
what is total internal reflection we also looked at what is critical angle it is a specific angle that we need to shine the light at and once the angle is that much it is going to start reflecting inside the glass slab or the second medium uh, we also noticed that uh, how the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction are different we have only studied so far today we also got a look at it all right so that's about it for today uh, one small activity a new topic uh, i'm going to see you in the next class thank you